everyone, welcome to the next installment of Charts in Perspective, where we use charts to dive into the world of economics and financial markets. I'm Jennifer Nash, an economic and market research analyst for Vetify. Today we're going to look at our January 2025 update on FinRIDS margin debt data. Margin debt is the amount of money an investor borrows from their broker via a margin account. Trading with margin debt can magnify gains because an investor can benefit from the upside of any stock without having to invest 100%, resulting in a greater profit. But at the same time, it can also exacerbate losses. Because if the stock's value were to depreciate, the investor may face a margin call and would need to come up with the additional cash to reach the minimum requirement. Margin debt is often seen as a measure of investor sentiment and risk appetite. High levels can signal confidence, but extreme spikes may also indicate excessive speculation, increasing the risk of market instability. So first, let's take a look at the relationship between margin debt and the market, using the S&P 500 as a surrogate for the latter. This first chart here shows the two series in real terms, meaning they're adjusted for inflation using CPI as the deflator. By 1997, the bull market from the early 80s was well underway, nearing the tech bubble's onset. Leverage surged in late 1999, peaking in March 2000, while the market hit its highest monthly close in August. Both then declined, bottom, bottoming out in September 2002. Okay. A similar surge started in 2006, peaking in July 2007, three months before the market's October peak. Both then declined, bottoming out in February of 2009, before another major cycle of increases began. A similar surge followed the COVID pandemic, with margin debt peaking in October 21, two months before the market's December high but the most recent surge has been occurring over the past 15 months, where the market hit its real all-time high just a few months ago in November 2024. However, real margin debt remains 13% below its 2021 record high. With that said though, real margin debt has increased for five straight months and seems to be on an upward climb. As of January, the debt level stands at $937.25 billion, a 4.2% monthly increase and a 33.5% annual increase. However, when adjusted for inflation, those numbers are reduced slightly to 3.6 and 29.6 respectively. At the suggestion of one of our readers, here we have the same chart as before, but this time margin debt has been inverted. Here we can see that it's easier to see the relationship between the two series as a divergent in this chart. Our next chart shows the growth of the two data series from 1997. Again, this is based on inflation-adjusted data. It's clear to see that the growth among the two has always moved in similar patterns, albeit at not similar rates. Early on, margin debt and the market grew at comparable rates, but started to widen during the tech crash recovery. As of January 2025, real margin debt has grown over 350%, while the market has grown just over 280%. Lance Roberts of Real Investment Advice analyzes margin debt in the larger context that includes free cash accounts, and credit balances in margin accounts. Essentially, he, he calculates the credit balance by adding free credit cash accounts and credit balances in margin accounts, and then subtracting margin debt. This chart here illustrates the mathematics of credit balance with an overlay of the S&P 500. Note that this chart is based on nominal data and is not adjusted for inflation. The latest net credit balance as of January is at negative $592.61 billion a record low. Here's a slightly closer look at the data, starting in 1995. I've inverted the investor credit monthly data and used markers to pinpoint key turning points. Again, with the inversion, it's easier to see the relationship between investor credit and the market. In closing, margin debt data is several weeks old when published, so major shifts are not immediately visible. There are also too few peak trough episodes to treat this as a leading indicator of a major sell-off. Still, it remains an interesting metric worth watching closely. And that's all for our January 2025 margin debt update. Thank you for tuning in. For more economic and market insights, you can find my content regularly on the Advisor Perspectives website under the AP Chart section.